Welcome to the Friday Special Home of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and this is Episode 2 of the Friday Special Home of the Day. So, click right here to see Episode 1, which is Setting the Bevel. All right, a properly set bevel is the key to the honing progression. If you don't have a properly set bevel, you can't continue. All right, so click right there. Go to episode one if you haven't seen setting the bevel. And then you can come back to this video. All right, and for our Friday hone of the day, we are going to be using this vintage straight razor. All right, this is a Haddon brand made by W.R. Humphrey and Company in Sheffield, England. It is a 13 16 and it is hollow ground, guys. Now, here's the thing. Since it has Sheffield, England on it here, that means we know that this is uh, post-1890. Now, W.R. Humphrey and Company quit making straight razors in 1919. So even if this is from the last year they made straight razors, okay, think about it. That's pretty cool. We are going to hone this up and make it shave ready. And we're going to be able to shave with this. And that's from 1919. Very cool. All right, guys. Down in the description, for your convenience, I will have links to everything that I've used in this video. All right, guys. Now, uh, when you're honing, setting the bevel is the most important step. And a properly set bevel... Without that, you can't continue through the honing progression, all right? So now, uh, if you haven't seen episode one, that is where we set the bevel. Now, what we're going to be doing in this video is starting with the 3,000 grit stone here. And this, this stone is going to be, that 1,000 grit is what we set the bevel on. This 3,000 is going to start our honing progression. All right. And now uh, we have four stones that we're going to hone with to bring this razor up to a shave ready type uh, level. All right. So what we're going to do, though, we're starting with the, the 3,000 grit. And we're going to do uh, 20 laps with pressure, all right? All right, now we're going to turn that over and do 20 laps on this side. turn it over in 10 laps. Turn it over, do 10 on this side. All right, turn it over. We're going to do five. Turn it over. We're going to do five on this side. Now, it is very important uh, when you're honing that you never let the stone get dry. Okay? We always want it wet. All right. Now, we're going to do five. And five. All right, 
And now we're going to do 10 X strokes. Okay, and this is going to be the weight of the blade. All right. Okay, there's 10. Now, we're going to move on to A to the 8K stone. And now, as we're doing this, okay, now from the 3K to the 8k stone here what we're doing is we have got a delta of 5,000 grit between stones all right and as we move through this progression I will show you where I'm going with that all right now, again, 20, 10, 5, and 10 X strokes. And with pressure right now. Now ten. And ten. And ten. And not ten. <laughs> Five. Sorry. All right. And now five on this side. Alright, now we're going to do 10 X strokes, and this is just the weight of the blade, no pressure. Alright, and look at how the water is displacing. That's what we're looking for. We want it to displace clear across the blade. Alright. thousand stone. Put that back in the water. Now, so we went from the eight to 
the 12. Okay, and now this is a just an excellent stone. This is ceramic. This is a Shapton M5 12K stone. Okay, excellent, excellent stone. This one does not have to be uh, soaked, by the way. All we have to do is just get water on it when we're ready to use it and it starts pooling up and we're good to go. Now again on the 12,000 stone we're doing the same thing. So it's going to be 20. And then we're going to go 20 on this side. Okay, 10. Okay, and now five. And now all of this has been with about maybe five to ten pounds of pressure on this blade. And now we're going to do 10 X strokes uh, with just the weight of the blade. And watch the water displacement. That's the key right there. Maybe more than 10, but feels right. Okay. Now we're going to move now from the 8K stone or the, the 12, we're going to move from the 12K stone to the 15K stone. Okay. And now the delta there between the stones is now going to be 3,000, all right? And that 3,000 delta, as we are going through this, each time, the 15, so each time we're going through this, we are getting less and less difference in grit from stone to stone. So it is becoming more and more similar as we go up through the grits. All right. Now again, this is going to be 20, 10, 
five and uh, 10 X strokes, but this time it's just the weight of the blade, that's it. And 10 on this side. Five. Five on this side. Alright, and now what we're trying to do, we're going to do at least uh, 10 X strokes at this point, okay? And the goal here is we're trying to see, and this is no pressure again, this is just the weight of the blade, and what we're wanting to do, we're wanting to feel that blade suck into the stone, okay? And when that happens, we're going to know we're there. And normally it takes me about 10 strokes for that to happen. We'll just see how it goes this time though. Because it already feels like it's starting to, yeah, it's starting to suck that blade right into the stone. So it's getting smooth enough that it is increasing the drag because the surface area has got less and less impurities and scratches in it. And it's becoming more and more polished and refined. All right. That's what we're doing. That's the whole process. Alright. Oh yeah, that's starting to feel really good. it right here. I don't think I'm done yet, but I think we're getting really close. Oh, very nice. This is really some beautiful steel, guys. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, looking good. You know what? We're going to go just a little bit more with it because I think we can get a little bit more out of it.
Okay, guys. It is really starting to stick now. Okay, we're we're done. We're there. All right. That's it. Looking good. Looking really good. Beautiful razor. Yes, it is. Click right up here. That'll take you to episode three, the next step in the honing progression, stropping the shave ready. And if you haven't seen episode one, click right over here. That'll take you to episode one, properly setting the bevel. All right. And up here, please subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time in episode three of Adventures in Wet Shaving.